Alright, today I'm going to try to explain how we uh, determine the size of a circuit. Now, if I look at this drawing, I have one, two, three, four, five, six outlets, a switch, and a light. So that comes out to eight devices. The code states on a 15 amp circuit, it is preferred that we do not go more than eight devices per circuit. Now preferred is not the, the law. We could have more. It's, it's recommendation. So I could literally put 100 receptacles in this bedroom. It's a 12 by 12 bedroom and that is totally legal. The recommendation is a lot of the stuff, I hate to say this, is more for the commercial industrial union part of the job, a little less for the residential. Because most people in a big bedroom, you're going to have more than six receptacles in a bedroom. You, you know, you're going to have more than the eight devices. <clears throat> now, the way we actually calculate this, and this is the law, this is the, co the, the code, it goes by three volt amps per square foot. Right now you're not sure what a volt amp is. If I use Ohm's law, a volts times amps is watts. Now think of a light bulb. I look at a light bulb, it tells me it's a 60 watt light bulb. I know exactly how many watts it is. I look at a baseboard heater, a four foot electric baseboard heater is a thousand watts. I know exactly how many watts it's drawing. Well, when I have an outlet, there's nothing plugged into it. So it's technically not drawing any power. I plug a lamp into it and it has a 60 watt bulb, then it's drawing 60 watts. You plug a blow dryer into it, now it's drawing 1500 watts, so it's always changing. So we need a number. So they give me a calculated number of three volt amps per square foot. This way, I have a calculation I could use to determine the size of the circuit. So right now this bedroom, I'm not even including what's inside here, is a 12 by 12 bedroom. So that comes out to 144 square feet. I times that by my three volt amps, and then that is going to come out to 432 volt amps. So now we want to calculate that into uh, our amperage because I'm going to use a 15 amp breaker. Now this is where the sciencey stuff comes in and the math comes in. So we can't load a breaker to an entire 15 amps because of what's considered a continuous load. Anything that runs for three hours or more. So I have a paddle fan in that bedroom. I could technically leave that paddle fan on for three hours or more. So that's a continuous load. So I only could load the circuit to 80% of that. So the 80% of my 15 amp breaker is going to be 12 amps. So now technically I could only load my 15 amp breaker to 12 amps. Well, let's see how much amps that this room has the potential to draw. <coughs> So I'm taking, we're, we're not going to count this as volt amps anymore. We're going to count that as watts. So watts law, it's going to be the 432 watts. Divide that by the 120 volts. And that is going to give me my amps. Now, I'm not going to figure this out, you know, but it's going to come out to about 3.2 amps for this bedroom. So, think of this as the 3.2 amps for the bedroom, roughly around there. And that is much lower than the 12 amps. So, if I had two 12 by 12 bedrooms, I could easily put those both on the same circuit because we're drawing less than 7 amps for those two bedrooms. Now the way the code states that, you know, the preferred method is no more than 8 devices on a circuit. If I have these bedrooms and they're exactly the same, you know, I have 16 devices on a circuit and it is totally legal. And I'm only drawing 7 of the 12 amps. 
So it is within more than enough of a range that I could put those two bedrooms on the same circuit. And the reason we do that is for cost. You know, it's, if I have to add another circuit, that's another breaker, that's another home run from the panel box, and it's also labor. So you will notice in newer construction, in residential, you're going to see it's not uncommon to have two bedrooms on a circuit, uh, the master bedroom and the master bathroom lighting on the same circuit, and it is legal. It is not the preferred method for the code, but it is totally legal and it is done all the time. That's it.